Shane Bouvet, thanks for joining us again on the Illinois Channel TV. And for those who don't know you, uh, I will tell the audience that you are a personal friend of President Trump. And you have a fascinating story of how a young man from Stonington, Illinois, came to be personal friends with President Trump. It happened back when he was first running for president. And now you are telling that story in a book about to be published called President Trump, A Man Misunderstood. So what is it that you know about President Trump that others don't know? And all of those who, there are so many critics of President Trump, what are they missing that you know about the actual man? They're missing the human, he, I'm trying to humanize President Donald J. Trump. He's been character assassinated, judicially persecuted, and I no longer can allow it, Terry. This man has a beautiful heart who represents the forgotten men and women of this country. I was a forgotten man. I was a Democrat. I voted for Obama. I broke out of those chains. I realized that we need things made in America, and that's what I love what Donald J. Trump represents, is giving a hand up to the forgotten men and women of this country. When, you, when you're around the president, what is he like uh, just as a guy who, when he's not on camera? Because that's all we see him is when he's on camera. What's he like? You've had uh, any number of meetings with him one-on-one -on -one where you're just together enjoying each other's company. W what's that like? He's the most generous, humble, caring man I've ever met. Who truly, w When I first met him, he gave me a hug, told me he loved me, gave me a chance. He was the only person that we felt like we were forgotten for the longest time, and he reached out and gave me a chance. And that's what I really love about President Donald Trump is he believes everybody deserves a seat at the table. When he gives his addresses, he, uh, I think, has a, a pretty funny sense of humor. Do you see that with him when you're in one-on-one? -on -one? I do. He just loves America. He, he loves the, the forgotten man. I'm just a guy from Stonington, Illinois, a little farm town. And he, and he just loves that. He loves that I, I, I help out my father. My dad had cancer, and, and Donald Trump uh, gifted my father a $10,000 check, which was in my name, and I gave it to my father because he was suffering. Uh, he was on a final path of losing his life with cancer. And President Trump uh, put that money forward. And I think there's even more to that story of his generosity behind the scenes. And I know you, uh, after your, your father... Um, his cancer is in remission, and then President Trump, when he was still in the White House, invited you and your father to visit him in the Oval Office, and that was quite an experience. It was historic. Um, it just shows that it, you can be a volunteer and go to the Oval Office and meet the President of the United States. Nothing is impossible. You can, you can do anything that you set your mind to. And you've met, I think, some other members of the Trump family. What are, what are they like? Do they welcome you? Are they, uh, sn are they stiff? Are they inviting? What, what kind of people are they? They're the type of people that um, you could be in a lake lot, and they'd be there, and they're just having a – they don't drink, but they'd be having a beer with you. You know, they're, they're the type of people that is totally misunderstood, and that's what I'm willing to capture in my book. I want to capture their hearts. I want to capture the side that I – that – America doesn't really get a seat because they they're, they're, they want to destroy this man. They want to character assassinate him, and I'm no longer going to stand it, Terry. I can't. We can't have this happen in our country. Well, you're friends with him, and you hate to hear have people making up uh, things about him. But your your story is is uh, very interesting, which you've told me already, and that will be in the book, A Man Misunderstood. Um, and when approximately might the book be? I know it's recently kind of finished with the writing, going through some of the editing and last details. When do you imagine it might be available to be sold or, or purchased? Well, I'm hoping next month, Terry, I fly out to California. President Trump, uh, big news, by the way, is, is shooting a presidential documentary, and me and my father are going to be in it. And I'm so blessed by that. I get to tell my story, and uh, I'm very humbled by that experience. And I'm hoping to talk with uh, um, the Team Trump to try to help me get this book out. This is the beginning of September 2nd of 2024. Just out of curiosity, when, about when was the last time you happened to talk to the president? Uh, it's been a couple months. Um, he told me, Shane, just keep fighting and uh, give people hope because it's hard to find hope nowadays. Did, did you talk to him after the assassination attempt? I did. And what, has it changed him at all or what, what 
did you discuss that with him at all? Did it come up in the conversation? Uh, it has changed him. Um, it has. I mean, anybody who's ever been through that, it, it was, um, you know, I, I took it personal because he's my friend. Um, and, and seeing um, what, the, what the left is trying to do to this man, it, it breaks my heart. Um, I, I, did, I did cry because he's my friend. I take it personal. That's why we need to fight back and save this country, Terry. All right, well, Shane Bouvet will be looking forward to your book when it comes out, and then maybe we can visit with you again. Sounds great. Thank you, Terry.